friends. This book Jackson and I want to read to you tonight is called A Friend or The Friend Who Forgives. A true story about how Peter failed and Jesus forgave. Forgave. And it's by Dan DeWitt and Catalina Ecaveri. They must be brothers. Do you think they're brothers? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Jackson, our friend on the camera can't see you. All right. So I'm going to show you the page and then I'm going to read the words so you can follow along. Oh, no. Yeah, we're going to find out in a minute, Jack, okay? A long time ago, there was a man named Peter. This is Peter. Yeah. Who was best friends with Jesus. But he often said the wrong thing. Jackson already knows this story, if you can't tell. Peter was a fisherman. He was strong and brave. Yeah. But what Jackson said, he often said the wrong thing. The thing. Oh, my goodness. Here. She, she's calling her a whale. He's calling her a whale. She's pregnant. That is not nice to do, is it? No. And here he's mm. saying something mean and making this person feel so sad. And, and here in this picture, I think he's I think he's being proud and saying, oh, I've caught the biggest fish. And he's not making very good friends by doing that, is he? But he can tell the truth. Yeah. 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 He often said the wrong Who's thing. Saying? Do you ever talk before you think? Yeah. Yeah. That's what Peter did again and again and again. Like. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. I talk before I think. <laughs> Peter loved fish. In fact, one day he and Jesus had fish for breakfast. Ew. Ew. <laughs> fish for breakfast? That's weird. Tuna fish for breakfast. <laughs> but we will save that part of yeah. the story until the end. Until the end? There he is, catching his fish. He's got trophies yeah. for being the best fisherman. Why? On the day when Jesus first called Peter to follow him, can you guess what Peter was doing? Fishing. What do you think he's doing? He's fishing, that's right. And this Jesus, is the water. Yeah, and Jesus is the one on the beach there. That's right. Peter was fishing. Peter was fishing. Follow me and I will make you a fisher of men, Jesus told him. Can you imagine that? Peter fishing for men? But Peter's imagining, am I supposed to catch them in my net? That's crazy. Jesus explained that just as Peter liked to search for fish, Jesus had come to search for people who needed forgiveness. Ah, oh, that makes sense, right? Because Jesus is looking for friends. To Bunch help. of fishermen. Why is he telling kids here? Yeah. Yeah. So Peter is standing in the boat, and it sounds like he's telling stories about Jesus to all the people who are sitting on the beach. And that is what Jesus means by being a fisher of men, to tell other people oh, about no, him. Oh, no, no, no. Let's find out on this page first, sweetheart, okay? Peter loved being friends with Jesus. He saw Jesus do all kinds of amazing things. He turned water into wine. One time, Peter's mother-in-law was sick and Jesus healed her. Another time, Peter was about to drown in a storm and Jesus saved him. Here, let's find out what this says. This time, this lady needed to be healed and Jesus is healing her. Yeah. Slowly, Peter realized that Jesus was more than a friend. This person? He was more than a friend, he was God. He would never let Peter down. No. Yeah. Friends, I think this is Peter here. Yeah. He's like, did you, did you just see what happened? Wow, God just healed her. Wow. But sometimes Peter let Jesus down. Don't you cross? Can you back up, sweetheart? We're blocking the camera here. 
like the time Jesus explained to his friends that he had the to... The is a little bit yeah. tight. Like that time that Jesus explained to his friends that he had to die on the cross, but that he would come back to life to offer forgiveness. All of you will run away. You're going to say you're not my friends, Jesus said. Why? Wonder what his friends think about that. Peter spoke up right away. He did that a lot. And he says, I will never do that. Mm. That's what Peter said. What no, that? I'm never going to what, do that. What is that yucky stuff? He's just shouting so loud. It's like it blows everybody away. But Jesus told him, before the rooster crows, before the rooster crows. In the morning, you will say three times that you're not my friend. <gasps> uh, why do they think that? What's the rooster saying? Cock a doodle doo. Cock a doodle finger. <laughs> I would never do that. Jesus is my best friend, Peter thought. When soldiers came to take Jesus to the cross, Peter pulled out his sword to stop them. Let's see here. He's saying, you can't, you can't hurt Jesus. But Jesus says, put your sword away, Peter. My father says this must happen. Why are they picking out their swords? He's well, they came to arrest Jesus and Peter thought he was going to stop them with his sword. But Jesus said, no, 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 that's not the way we're going to do this. We're not going to hurt somebody. Jesus said he was going to do what God wanted him to do. Jesus let the soldiers take him to a courtyard to stand trial. There's Jesus and he has chains on him. And the soldiers are taking him away. And look at, there's Peter watching. Peter, does he look scared? Do you think, Jackson, that Peter looks a bit scared there? Yeah. Like, Uh-oh, what's going to happen? Peter followed from far away because he was scared, huh? Here we go, friends. Aren't you one of Jesus' friends? A young girl asked as she opened a gate for Peter to enter the courtyard. What do you think Peter said? Yes. Do you think he said yes about being Jesus' friend? Uh-oh. No, I don't know Jesus, is what Peter said. Uh-oh. It was a cold night, so Peter walked over to a fire where some people were warming themselves. Aren't you one of Jesus' friends? Someone asked Peter. What? What do you think Peter said? What do you think Peter said, Jackson? Uh, no. I think you're right. I think you're right. No, I don't know, Jesus. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Then someone else stepped forward and looked closely at Peter. Yes, you what, are what, one of Jesus' friends, what, what he aren't scared? you? He looks scared. Why? What do you think Peter said? Well, Peter's afraid because he knows Jesus is going to get in trouble, even though he didn't do anything wrong. And Peter's afraid, isn't he? Scared. And then it's even bigger. No, I don't know Jesus. No, I don't know Jesus. Uh-oh. Mm. Right then, at that very moment, a rooster crowed. Jesus turned around and looked straight at Peter. Look at the rooster saying, go, go, do, do. There's Why Peter. Why was the music notes? Well, I don't know, because it's just making the sound. But we know that roosters say, go, go, do, do, don't we? Yeah. And Jesus is looking through the window. Jesus Jesus has owie eyes. He looks right at Peter and Peter goes, uh-oh. That's exactly what Jesus said was going to happen. Then Peter remembered that what Jesus had said. Before the rooster crows, you will say three times that you are not my friend. 
How do you think Peter felt? About that. How do you think Peter felt, Jesus? Oh no, he's... Here we can see we... exactly how he felt. <laughs> he's sad. He is sad. <sighs> Peter was so sad. He knew he had failed. He had failed Jesus what, again why, and why, again why? and again. Why, why We're not on that page yet, honey. Oh. He didn't just need to find other people who needed forgiving. He needed forgiving too. I'm going to show our friends here one more time, Jack. We're going to stand real still. Sorry. Sorry for the ride we just sent you on, friends. Jackson, I want you to come sit up here, okay? Okay. All right. Peter felt terrible. He ran out of the courtyard and he cried and cried and cried. Peter had let his best friend down. And now it was too late because the soldiers had taken Jesus away to be killed. Oh, look how sad Peter looks. That rooster's watching. And Peter is curled up there crying. Oh, dear. Why is that rooster crow so sad, too? I don't know. The rooster is probably curious about what's going on there. You probably can't see it on the on the camera too well, but there's lots of tears coming out of the side of Peter. He is crying a lot because he hurt his best friend, didn't he? Yeah. When his best friend needed him most. But Peter didn't stay sad because Jesus didn't stay dead. Good. We just Stun. finished celebrating Look at this Resurrection stone. Day yesterday this day here right the stone has been rolled away jesus didn't stay dead three days later was the first easter sunday when jesus came back to life to offer people forgiveness Why did it says he is, he is risen the angels there are holding these angels look really happy and they're holding a banner over the tomb that says he is risen but would he forgive Peter for failing so badly? Do you think Jesus is going to forgive Peter? Yeah. Why did Jesus forgive Peter? Because of his sins. And Jesus forgives sins, right? One day, Jesus went looking for Peter. He said, Peter, you're an ocean. <laughs> Where do you think Jesus found him? Just like in the beginning. In the That's right. Peter and his friends were fishing. Where? There's Jesus looking for fishing. Peter and his friends. Fishing for men. Fishing for men. They weren't. They were fishing for regular fish this time. Regular fish. Jesus called to them from the beach. Look at that. Peter's jumping out of the boat. Peter jumped out of the boat and into the water and rushed to the beach to see Jesus. Wow. Wow. And this is where Jesus and Peter had fish for breakfast. Ewee. <laughs> fish for breakfast? That's weird. Peter was so happy to see Jesus alive. But would Jesus forgive him? Peter wasn't sure. Hmm. Look at Peter. Peter wasn't sure. Maybe Jesus wouldn't want to talk to him. Maybe Jesus wouldn't want to be friends with him. Have you ever said something or hurt somebody so badly and you're not sure if they're going to forgive you? Yeah. It's not a very good feeling to have I'm in not, your heart. I'm not really sure my friends are going. Really? No. no. That's a hard thing to feel, isn't it? Let's find out what happens. But yes, Jesus did want to talk to Peter. And yes, Jesus did want to forgive Peter. What is that? Wow. Women with the... Yeah. They're eating fish for breakfast. And since Peter had said he didn't know Jesus three times... Jesus gave Peter the chance to say three times, I love you, Jesus. Wow. That's how Peter became a forgiven fisher of men. men.
Peter spent the rest of his life telling people about his best friend, Jesus. No place he like told them that if they put their trust in Jesus, he would forgive them again and again, again and again and again. That's because Jesus was Peter's best what, friend. What he forgave right. him again and, and again, again and, and again. again. And again and again and again and again. Because does God forgive us only five times if we mess up? Yeah. Is it only five times? Do you think he'd forgive you over and over and over no matter how many times? If you come back, if you come back to Jesus and ask for help, is he going to keep forgiving you? Yeah. And one, two, three. Really? What about a thousand? A thousand. A thousand. Yes. And if you trust in Jesus, I love he, this, those are question marks, you're right. Mm -hmm. And if you trust in Jesus, he will forgive you too. Again, and again, and again, and again, and again, and again, and again. no matter how many times. Again. But the key is you keep coming back to Jesus and asking for forgiveness. That's the really important part, is yeah. that we keep coming back no matter how many times we make a mistake. Jesus wants us to always come running back to him for help yeah. and for forgiveness, okay? No, no. So friends, no matter what you do, remember, Jesus will always open his arms wide if you keep coming back and asking for forgiveness and help. He wants to help you and he wants to forgive you. And that is the friend who forgives. Hope you enjoyed it.